Hey everybody, bringing you a how-to video today. I'm going to show you how to wrap a paracord handle on a county con breacher bar. They don't come with a handle, you have to wrap your own handle. And this is a handle wrap that I had done some time ago and uh, it's just a modified two over and two under design and the modification is that I added um, a vertical line of paracord on both sides so that you'll if you notice most of these kind of paracord wraps uh, one side is flat uh, it doesn't have the horizontal strand going through it but I actually like um, having that on both sides so yeah there it is but what I've uh, figured out through my utilization of this is that I should have started the first line as uh, under instead of over and because what happens is that kind of drifts up on me I want to redo this and so I thought you guys might want to see how to do it so I'm gonna probably not talk a whole lot I'll, I'll talk a little bit just let you kind of watch as I go through it and you know what I'm gonna need my tool Hang on and I think what I'm gonna do to start with is I'm just gonna clip off this um, clip that I have on this yellow paracord Welcome back. Now we're all ready for our cord wrap section. Uh, the video on how to do a paracord wrap on the Countycon breacher bar. While I was off camera, I adjusted the height of the camera, put it up on the tripod so you'd have kind of an over the shoulder view. And my hand was getting in the way, I think, a little much of the lower camera angle. So we're going to try this, see how it works. So I've got together a length of paracord. This is about eight feet long. And this is the digital, uh, I've forgotten now, I think this is the digital foliage camo or digital forest camo, something like that. And on this wrap, we're going to be using the two center holes of the breacher bar, the upper hole and the lower hole for the handle wrap, which means our handle wrap is going to fall within those two holes and, and be just there in the center. And then we're going to use this lower hole for our lanyard attachment. And it's going to be from one continuous line of paracord. So about eight feet ought to do it for the wrap I'm doing. I'm doing a two over and two under wrap with a single vertical bar. I'm going to call the line going this way vertical because I'm going to be holding it up mostly. <laughs> if I'm holding it this way, it'd be horizontal, right? So I'm just going to call it vertical. So a single vertical line going this way through the weave, and then I'll have a double vertical uh, strand on the other side, and you'll see that once I get it going. And that's the little bit of modification that I've done to the wrap. Most of the wraps show a flat wrap with the horizontal bars going around this way and then one single vertical line going through this way. So I just doubled it up. So we'll start with the lower hole going up and through and back in and out the upper hole. And then what we want to do is we want to bring this back through the other side and out and we want enough on this line this is going to be our tail and this is going to be stationary so this is going to be a tail that's stationary throughout the wrap and every, the, the rest of the line is going to be the working end okay and so you need enough on this end to have your lanyard however much length you need for your lanyard so I think I need about 12 to 14 inches so that's right about that's right about 14 inches so I'm gonna leave that if I wind up short at the end of the wrap I can adjust it it's a little tough uh, but um, I'll show you how to do that if I need to but you can always unwrap it and then slide it whichever direction you need to make it shorter or longer all right so then we're gonna take the other end and now this is gonna be our working end 
and we're going to feed it back through and there's the beginnings of our wrap. All right, so you can see we have, we're going to wind up with a single strand on this side and a double strand on this side. Just a couple of tips right here is you want to make sure that you have about a quarter inch, quarter to half inch of slack so you have just about a finger's width of gap. Now what will happen is as you do the wrap you're going to take up that slack and you should wind up with very little, if any, by the time you get to the end. In fact, sometimes I have to come back and um, loosen it up just a bit. All right, and now we also wanted to remind ourselves that we're going to start with an under first line instead of an over first line. So let's work out which way we're going to go. And then I'm actually going to start by bringing it under, making sure that goes under that way. There we go. All right, and so now we're start wrapping. So here we do. This is a little bit of a simple weave. You can make your own variation on this weave. You can do, of course, you could do two over and one under, um, or vice versa. Or you could do threes. Um, you know, just whatever is your personal preference, whatever you like the look of. And let's see. So that brings us back around to the other side. All right, so that's two full unders on that side. And yep. I'm going to go two and a half on that side. Okay, because we got our half lap there. Okay, so now we're going over. Yeah, the overs are the easy bits to do. I just want to make sure I dress that square. Okay, now we're starting our over wrap. All you really have to do is twist the bar around. The edges on the breacher bar are actually a little bit on the sharp side and the nice thing is that that provides a bit of a bite on the bit of the paracord as you're working it if you can just keep a thumb or a finger on um, your last edge everything above that and your wrap will stay nice and taut it won't slip on you Okay, now we're at the end of the handle wrap, and now it's time for a little detail work. So what I want to do is to figure out what's the best way to finish the end. So as you can see, I finished on two over, and I want to finish on at least one under. And I think I can get one under if I dress this down just a little bit more. Alright, so what you want is you want both of your tails to come out on opposite, or not both of your tails to come out, you want each of your tails to come off on opposite sides of the breacher bar. So this one is fixed in place. This one has to finish on this side. So this one has to come back through this hole to come out on the other. So you see how that finished under, there we go, and then it goes through the other side of the breacher bar and comes out on this side. Um, and so these aren't going to migrate up the bar very far that way because they're going to be held in place. And the same thing on this end, these are held in place by being unders on both ends. <laughs> 